Hi guys, I'm Obscurian JLPT, as you already may know. So today I'm gonna bring you something different to you. It's a new graphic card. Well, it's not going to be my standard because it's a rendered graphic card by a friend. Thank you, Felipe Marcus. And the graphic card, it's the HD 7770. And you may think, what? You are reviewing a graphic card that already have more than one year? Well, yes, because the HD 9000 is not out yet. It's expectable to be out in the late September, October, or something like that. But if you want to buy a PC right now, you just have that or the Nvidia side. I'm no fanboy, okay, so you are free to choose whatever you want. I'm not judging that, and I'm not saying that AMD is better than Nvidia or otherwise, whatever. But if you have just 100 bucks to choose or 100 euros, you just have uh, this option HD 7770 and you have the NVIDIA GTX uh, 650 and you have the TI2 but it's a little bit more expensive so about the graphic card what do you see that we are seeing it let's go guys so as you can see this is the the GPU I'm using <laughs> a little big fox over here looks like some kind of deal I guess okay, okay. nothing important and this is a graphic card, it's very tiny. I'm using a micro ATX motherboard and so the graphic card is still even uh, weirder than that. As you can see, this is the actually fun, it's, uh, it's very quiet, but if I do this... Oh, it turns off. That was the IMD power core working which means when you have the monitor uh, off the graphic card the fan goes off but, but you may already knew that so let's see the specs of the graphic card shall we and temperatures too so looking to the specs it's a very low end graphic card i can compare this graphic card to the uh, hd 5770 uh, which is very similar this one is uh, has weather, less shaders but they are more efficient because of the GNC architecture. The pixel free rate and texture free rate is a little better. And uh, the memory bandwidth is lower than that graphic card. We need to compare things because the HD 5770 was released uh, almost five, uh, three years ago. I mean, it's a three years ago graphic card that was released for 150 bucks. And this graphic card was released, this HD uh, 7770 was released for the same price tag and the specs are almost the same. Two years after the graphic card, it's almost the same. That is horrible. But right now it's at 100 bucks and I guess uh, it's a very decent graphic card for the price. Because of this uh, bandwidth and this uh, pixel fill rate, uh, the graphic card may not be so recommended for 1080p. Well, many people say that, and this is real. I, I, I tested some games and I noticed a very big hit when using 1080p resolutions. But don't get me wrong, the graphic card is uh, uh, like the others. There are no problems with it. But the graphic cards with low bandwidth usually suffers to to get 1080p more than others. Okay. But uh, we'll see how it runs the games. Right here we have the few mark results that I test in this graphic card. I reached uh, 76 uh, degrees Celsius of maximum temperature. I, I need to remind that the graphic card is at stock and will be always at stock. Uh, my friend asked me that to stay the graphic card at stock. <laughs> I'm gonna respect it. So guys, this is the list of games that I'm going to benchmark, and there are benchmarks to really. And so this is going to be a busy week with a lot of uploads in my channel. So if you want to keep updated with the results that this graphic card have, just subscribe, okay guys? And you know what? Thanks a lot for seeing it, and let the benchmarks begin!